Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What I want to do today is um, I have a little mug that I got from the Dollar Tree and I want to put some wording on this about uh, dogs since I have little Maggie. She's so adorable and I know you all love her and I thought you all might like to make one for your pet. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, you could still... Um, print this out and not make it an SVG file just print it out as the PNG that it's going to come you could put it in a frame um, you could print it out on an Avery uh, sticker sheet and then just cut it out with a pair of scissors and apply it to a mug if you want so I already have design space loaded here on my canvas so I'm going to go to the circle with the plus for new project click on that then I had a request to show um, how where I get my um, designs and things like that and I usually get them on Pinterest or just go on Google and Google free um, images of whatever I'm looking for. If it's for a Cricut it's going to have to be a, a like an SVG file if you're going to print it on, on a shirt using vinyl. But let me first show you where you can find the information in case you don't know where I do put everything that I have linked. Okay here I have my channel up right here and what I'll do is I'll just click on this one right here and you, if you're on a computer if you look right here under the description it will say show more if you click on that that is going to have everything that I have linked now since this was a haul the only thing that I had linked is my um, top cash back that I always use to shop with when I'm online you can make money um, my link to order my t-shirts and then my Instagram and Facebook information but if we go to another one, like this one, the one using the Cricut, then what you would do is do the show more again. Now, if you're on mobile, there'll be a little upside down triangle right here and you click that and you can see it. But if you hit show more, then right here it is, is I tell you all the materials that you need and the link to the free printable and you click on that and you can download it. So I hope that that has been of help to everyone. Okay, so now we'll go back to our canvas in Cricut in Design Space. Okay, so I haven't uploaded this, so I'm going to go over, over here to the left on the bottom and click Upload. You can see you can upload a JPEG, a PNG, anything like that, You can or an SVG. So those files, that, or a GIF, which is transparent, um, Anything like that you can use with your Cricut. On this side, you can upload different patterns, but I'm going to click to upload an image. I'm going to click here. I've shown this before, but it's been a while, so I thought I would go over it again. You can, you can either drag and drop your file here, or you can browse. Okay, now I'm going to go over here, go to my downloads, click, double click on that one and I want the SVG and I'm going to double click to open that up and that's what it's going to look like. So I think that's going to be really cute. So I'm just going, you can browse or drag and drop. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. Okay, then I'm going to make this larger again. And I'm just going to put a tag in here, dog mom comma SVG and then hit save okay now it's uploaded it and that is that's so simple to do okay so now I want to click on this it's going to put a green box around it we're going to go to the right bottom corner insert images and that will put it on my canvas okay so I have this mug from the Dollar Tree and I just need to kind of see how large I want this to be like three wide by three tall okay so you can see over here in the layers column this is that this is all a cut file okay mom and the dog and the dog and the paws okay so what I want to do is just go up here out from size there's a little lock I'm going to unlock it and I want to make it 3.0 for the width and 
3.0 for the height and then lock that lock back and then that will give us what we want. Then we're going to go to make it right top corner. It's going to put it on our mat, okay? And then what I'm going to do is hit continue right bottom corner. I have my Cricut Explore Air 2 set to custom, okay? And I'm going to use, I have premium vinyl, so I'm going to click on that. And the next time you see me, we will be cutting out this really cute dog decal for a mug from the Dollar Tree. Okay, here's my premium Cricut vinyl. I just use black. You could use any color that you wanted. And um, what you want to do, and I've already done it, is you want to take like a cotton swab and clean the front of this with rubbing alcohol and then let it dry. And Maggie is right down here. I think you can see part of her ears. Here she is. Hello. She said, I wanted to say hi, everyone. Oh, say hi. Say, I missed you all. Yes. Yeah. Say, Maggie loves everybody. Yes, she does. Okay, baby, go play. Her food, her water, and all her favorite toys down there. Okay? So, I just cut this now a little bit larger than the three, but a lot larger than the three by three because it's going to be um, not put exactly how it's cut out it's in different areas i could have grouped it and attached it which which probably would have been easier okay so i'm just going i have the standard grip mat so i'm just going to put this right on here and one of you told me that i can cut this mat in two and i never thought about doing that and i think i really will and i think i will because i really use the 12 by 12s more than the um the 12 by 24s. Okay, I'm just going to slip this right under these little lips, insert it with the blinking arrow, and cut with the blinking C. But I think this is going to be so cute to have my morning tea in, and then it'll be a little reminder of Maggie, not that I forget her. <laughs> she is a mess, she's so funny. But you could use any color vinyl that you wanted. This would even be pretty on a shirt if you wanted to make it um, larger and put it on a shirt. And I may do that. I just didn't have any t-shirts right now. And um, with the bladder infection that I've had, I haven't really been doing a whole lot like going out. But I'm thinking about going to Hobby Lobby and getting one of those baseball t-shirts like I love and maybe doing something. I have some ideas for that for um, dog lovers. So that's coming soon, I'm pretty sure. So this is almost through um, cutting out. It doesn't take long at all. And my blade is a little dull. I may go over this again, and you will need some transfer tape. And you can use the um, clear shelving liner from the Dollar Tree and it works great. Okay, if you do want to cut again, as long as you have not removed this, all you do is just hit the blinking C twice and it will start cutting it. And it will go right over the same areas as long as you have not ejected it. So when this gets finished cutting the second time, then okay. to eject, you just hit the blinking arrow again. All right, now I'm going, so I don't waste any of this vinyl, I'm going to peel it back and just cut some of it. Okay, now to weed it, what we're going to do is pull away everything that we do not need. You just get right up here at the corner, pull away everything you do not need. I just think this font is really pretty, and I will put that in the description box below where you can get this if you're interested. And it's completely free. Maggie has left me. <laughs> she decided that she would rather be in there barking at the people mowing their grass. Okay, and this is what we have. I think that's so pretty, and I think it would be gorgeous on a t-shirt, okay? 
So I'm just going to peel this off of here so it'll be more manageable for me, okay? So then all I have to do is just disconnect mom from all of this. I think this is going to be precious. Okay, I cut down my transfer tape and you can reuse your transfer tape. Okay, we're just going to peel this off. Put it right on top of dog mom. And then we're gonna take our little scraper tool and adhere it onto this. Okay, and then this just peels right off. down just hold it taut and then we'll just rub it on here this is going to be so cute this would be a good gift if you know someone a lot of people love dogs and animals but the great Christmas gift Christmas will be here before you know it okay and then you just start peeling back at an angle Okay, and then we're going to get our mom, put this on there, peel this right off. I mean, it's never too soon to be thinking about Christmas gifts. And then we'll apply mom on here. Then we'll just peel this back. Okay, we'll take a look at it. Well, here it is. It looks so high-end, like you spent a lot of money on it, and you didn't. Um, I just love these, like I said, as gifts, or you could put pencils in it. You could put makeup brushes in it. You could put your paint brushes in it. You could do so much with this. You don't have to drink out of it to use it. But I really love how high-end this little Dollar Tree and Cricut creation turned out. So I will see you tomorrow for another Dollar Tree uh, DIY. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become a member of our family. And when you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. So until next time, bye guys.